Soho has discovered more comets than all the observers in history combined. So the sun's gravity, you see, holds in place this Soho observatory in outer space. And it changes its filter so that you can see the electromagnetic spectrum. Comets go around in elliptical orbits, and all of them are really elliptical. They thought it was circular since a long time ago. Because of its unique and continuous view, Soho has discovered more comets than all the observers combined. The sun's edge as we slide around is a mass of explosion two days ago, March. But that was really ten years ago. Or eleven or so. So we can go this big. Bright plasma loops trace electromagnetic irregularities across the surface of the sun into space. The bright areas are those seen in ultraviolet light and are produced by plasma heated to nearly 4 million degrees Fahrenheit. That's quite hot. The sunspot. The sun's it. Space weather is difficult to predict. Here's another view of the sun. The sun turns with activity in this time-lapse movie taken from October 18th to November 7th, 2003. As you can see, a burst Eruptions from the sun send massive amounts of energy, radiation, and plasma streaming into space. When an eruption occurs on the side of the sun facing the Earth, the resulting radiation can affect profound satellites, communication, and other electrical systems on the Earth. Space weather. Now, this is a time lapse movie of four days, February 16, 19, 2003, of the edge of the sun, NASA's transition region and coronal explorer trace in space. The rising and falling of dark areas are prominent, large streams of gas and plasma cooler than the surrounding surface. They follow the sun's magnetic fields until the lines collapse and the material energy is ejected into space. The sun has more poles than the earth. They churn and they burn. Provinces Time lapse from Trace. Another one from the Soho. 
The sun is in a period of near maximum activity in this time lapse taken. October 21st, 2003. The images are from the Helical Observatory. See, there are several poles on the sun. We only have two. We only have two, but there are several poles. And the sunspot activity for the 2013 will be at its peak. Then the communication surfaces will not work, you see. A big solar flare will come around. And all the communications, like cell phones, will not work. I'm 58 years old. I've been here so many times. There's another Soho image. Bright areas reflect differences in temperature. As you can see, the flares in 2013 will cause mass confusion. Didn't you know? No. <laughs> well, you don't know your history or your astronomy very well. I'm a member of the planetary order. In Pasadena! I was a head engineer there, too, of the Huntington Memorial Hospital. That's true, I was. Mm -hmm. That's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You can learn a whole lot from here. You can, really. And if you get the brochures, and you can go online, too. You just do Google, and then you can be here without even going. Did you know that? That's the way to get here from the safety of your home. So as we observe <laughs> the sun out of the spectroheliscope in the telescope with a hydrogen alpha filter, it's very easy. It's a form of radical refraction. It's glass. And they have scores in it. Sorry, I'll just turn this off like that.